<laughs> What's up Android fans? Tekami is back and this time I'm going to show you how to get this look in under 5 minutes. So let's get to it! So here I have my look. I have phony bite icons on the right side. I have battery widget reborn right there down below. And up there I have thousand clocks gallery. If I swipe down I get to my notification bar. If I swipe up I get to my app drawer. So nice little clean UI look. So once you install Apex Launcher you get something like this. So let's get to the settings first. Apex settings. Alright. So let's go to the home screen settings first. You want to make the grid size into 10 by 7 or something which is really big. Landscape grid you can leave it as it is. Horizontal margin you want to make it none. Vertical margin you want to make it small. Icon size you want to leave it as it is. Manage screens you can add up to 5 home screen or 9 home screens but I prefer for this, for this look just leave it to 1 home screen but I have actually 5 home screens right now. If you have more than one home screen, you can put inference scrolling on to bounce and uh, disable elastic scrolling and minimum scrolling time, set it to as minimum as possible so that it gives you that nice snappy look. Alright, in wallpaper, this is important. Make sure that your wallpaper mode is single screen, non scrolling. Alright? And uh, you obviously have show wallpaper on desktop and then um, in the UI options you can leave all these as it is uh, make sure that the persistent search bar is never and then this is important make sure your hide notification bar so that you have the clean look you hide the shadows and you hide icon labels alright go back in drawer settings you can leave as it is or customize it to whatever you want it's up to you totally. Dock settings, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure you hide the dock. Alright? Now don't go back yet. Go to behavior settings and make sure you have your screen gestures on. So swipe up, app drawer, swipe down, notification bar, two finger swipe, you can do whatever you want. Pinch in, you can show previews or whatever. So make sure you have all those things enabled. Alright, so once you have the Apex settings set, you can even customize the rest of the settings as you want. You want to go back. You won't have your dock enabled anymore because it will be hidden. Go to wallpapers, hold down, get to go to wallpaper. You can download this wallpaper from uh, my Google Plus account, link down below. Alright? So go to your wallpaper and choose it and make sure you select it. So right now I have wallpaper set to non-scrolling, remember that. Alright, so I have the wallpaper now. Next, you want to add, add the thousand clocks gallery. So you go to widgets, you want to scroll down, get to thousand clocks gallery, and you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, 4x2 is fine for me, because we can resize, that's the good part about Apex Launcher. You can even do this actually with Nova Launcher and uh, Go Launcher, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so once you have that, click on it and select Type Typo Clock Sheriff. All right, so we have that, and we can go to one click action and you can go to like show alarm clock configuration. All right, and then you click save and close. So we have the clock, but it's kind of messed up, so you want to resize it. All right, now let's push it all the way up. So we have that on the right side, right? Now we want to add the icons. To add icons, you swipe up and you get your app drawer. Make sure you find your phone and leave it, all right? Once you get that wherever, you can position it wherever you want, preferably on the right side, and then hold it and let it go. And you get these this pop-up. Go to edit, go to the icon and press on it. Select from icon packs. And I have multiple icon packs, but the one we want is phony byte icons right there. Click on it, and then you want to find your phone. Alright, so once you find your phone, click on it. 
and there you go your icon is changed now you can click OK and as you can see you have your icon right over there alright so we want to do that for messaging and we want to do that for whatever icons you want alright so here we have our icon set as you can see you can even have your icons right in the center over there next you want to add the battery widget rebound right over there alright so we go to the widget you go to Battery Widget Reborn, right over there. And you can change the settings as you want. I just like to leave it as it is. And then you click Save. All right, and let's make it all the way on the side. All right, so we have the battery settings right there, 21% left, all right. So we got the battery which is reborn, we got our icons and we got our clock. Click on the clock and you go straight to your alarm. Alright, so that's what's on my home screen. Let me know what's on your home screen. Hit me up on Google+, Facebook or Twitter and leave a picture of your home screen. To just take a screenshot and leave it. Or you can even create a video response. Show me what's on your home screen and how you have set it up. And I'll make a video compilation of all the best home screens. So that's it for now. Let me know what you guys thought. Nice little clean UI look in under 5 minutes. Alright? Don't forget to hit that like button. Take care guys. Bye bye. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.